So before I start, I want you guys to get your cell phone ready. Your cell phone to open up your uh, Instagram account and a piece of paper and a pen. Okay, good. So now we can start. Um, I don't really need to introduce myself because you, you guys will know who I am in five seconds when I show you my profile. Okay. So today I really want to share something like my own journey with you and why social media. So basically this is where people are and um, uh, it is unbelievable because our um, my mom's age, my parents' age, like those group is the fastest growing group demographic on Instagram right now because when, when they noticed that we are using Facebook, they, you know, our parents started to use Facebook and then now they are on Instagram as well. And of course, like all the traffic coming uh, from TikTok or other video platform, there are so many social media platform. And I think it's a really a good way to communicate and a really good way to connect with our friends. We get to know what they are doing and especially people, they are on, the social media for a long, long time. You can all check on your screen time. Like there's a function on, if you're using um, iPhone, you know, there's a screen time that you can check and, and see how, how, how long you are spending on your screen every day. And on average, the average is four hours. Can you believe that or not? Like most of the people spending, over 85% of the people are spending over on average of four hours on their screen every day and especially on social media. And also like the first thing that they uh, do when they wake up is to check their social media. Do you do that or not? Yes, I do that, I do that too. And especially when it comes to news game business and I believe that uh, we are all distributor, right? And I really want to share a bit of my journey with you guys because when I got to New Skin after my um, my first global convention in 2015, I was like really, really excited about New Skin business. But when I faced the reality, when I try to check out like how all the other distributors are doing New Skin, I tried all the offline tactics and I even went to Ikea or malls like to prospect people and I have to drive my car all the way to see my clients, my prospect. Like they are not even my customer yet. And I just need to, I, I had to drive like over 40 minutes back and forth. Like that's 1.5 hours long. And you have to spend the time like coffee to have coffee with them. And I didn't even sell a product. So I, I was like thinking about, oh no, no, no. This is not for me. This is not for me. And uh, like, are my partners, my future partner going to go through the same thing again? I had a really uh, like hard time. Like I was really frustrated about that. So after so many, many uh, experiences like in offline, like I, I, I made a decision. I, I was like determined to find out another way because I'm not going to do this. Because when I go on a street, like there are no people there. It's not like in Asia, there's so many uh, people out there and you can prospect all the time. So when you try to network with people, it is really time consuming and it's also, it, it, it costs a lot of money to be honest. And I'm not earning, sometimes I, when I just sell like a, a facial max, I have to spend so much money like on meals and, and on my guests. So I think, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. So this is how I started to use social media. And this is how, also how I, I grew my business and my uh, endless contact list as well, because I can find people all the time. And just as long as you are consistent, like people keep asking me about the products and the business opportunity. So this is what I find social media so effective. You can find so many people, like seriously, and they are everywhere. So today I'm going to do a little workshop with you and how to start a social media from scratch and how to attract your tribe. So the best people that we can recruit is actually you yourself, right? 
because we want to work with like-minded people. So for example, if Ellen, like she's so hardworking and so ambitious and, you know, showing up all the time and you are working with someone that is like so laid back, you know, because when I send a video, because I, I get follow and unfollow all the time. So the people who unfollow you, they don't like your energy sometimes. So I don't really care about that. Like, I mean, the people keep watching your content and they keep coming back. They are your people. So I really want you guys to first define your areas of passion. Because when it comes to content, like we all think, oh my God, what do I uh, need to post about new skin? And what, what should I post about the products? How can I sell? Like, but before we sell, you need to attract people first. And this is like um, the way that I try to create my content. I would choose three areas of my passion. So this is uh, the examples. Like, I mean, you, you guys can choose food or um, I mean, other spots like whatever that you like uh, so fitness if you like fashion I mean like this is all the different types of portfolio you, you can find on Instagram and people follow you for the same passion and people follow you for the same like they like your energy or maybe you, you the value that you provide they like all the value that you are offering so this is why you have to choose the, the areas of passion first so some people, they can show off their family, like lifestyle, and that is really attractive too. You will attract more like moms and, you know, like those moms, they share their babies, right? All the time and they would be attracted by you. So after choosing your areas of passion, I want you to identify your own brand. So this is my uh, feed, my Instagram. I would choose business, beauty, and travel and or lifestyle. And this is my areas of passion. So you could choose yours. This is my own personal branding. And this is all what I, I post about, like I all the contents that I, I post, they all revolve around these three areas. So business wise, like when you, when you come to my um, Instagram, people would think, okay, cause they know that I'm doing a business and it's about beauty and they see me traveling all the time and they share, like, I mean, they, they see my lifestyle and they would be attracted by my Instagram. So now I want you to turn on your own Instagram as well to do a self, a self evaluation. So when you turn on your social media, I want you to be brutal, honest to yourself, okay? So if you were a stranger and you come to your own profile and check your bio and your first 12 feet, I'll maybe scroll down a little bit, would you follow yourself? Yes or no? Brutal honest, okay? You don't need to tell me the answer, but I want you to be honest to yourself. Okay, so if the answer is no, you have to work on your social media. I mean, you can choose offline tactics. Like, I mean, there are so many successful leaders. They are so successful. I mean, there are many ways, but if you really want to be committed to using social media, you need to think about how to make an attractive social media profile. Okay, so first I want to teach you a really simple method. Like I call it three times three method. So you choose um, three areas of your passion, right? Like my, in my case, like beauty business, travel and lifestyle, but you have to stick with three core. The three cores, high energy. The one with high energy always win. And you can tell like those like successful leader, they have really good energy, right? And you have to be authentic. Um, so all the good quality photo I would post in my feet, but um, in my story, you can be crappy, like, you know, low quality. You can, be, you can be even in your pajama. People love to see behind the scene. Like they want to see like the real you. And I would suggest you guys talk to the camera, like talk to the camera. Like they want to see, to, to hear your voice and, um, and to understand your personality. And it's really good, a good way to attract your own people. If people like you, they will keep watching. 
And of course, like your contents have to be inspirational. It, it either has to be resonate with people or it has to be educational based or um, it has to be conversational. Okay. So the next thing is your profile. So your username is really simple. You have to be, uh, it has to be easy to remember. Like don't make it like too long. Like I don't even know how to spell. Like, so people notice, maybe they, they can recognize your profile but they don't know, uh, what does that person call, like what's her name? Like you cannot even like remember the name then that's not good. So easy to remember your username and your profile picture, it has to be close up of your face, okay? Some people like so far away, like showing their body. Like, I mean, I cannot even see your face. I cannot even see your face. And that's so true. Then, okay, you have to use big smile. Like this is my, what I, I suggest. And you can use color as well. Color is also a way to attract people to stand out. So big smile, close up face, okay. That's a really good profile and it has to be more compelling. So um, you can play around with that. And your bio simply five second rule. You, you don't know who Daisy is. Okay, just look at the bio, like five seconds. I don't even need to tell you my story. What do you do? What do I do? It has to be compelling, short and straightforward, like really simple, five seconds. And don't use like too many uh, emoticon or uh, too long. I mean, people, when they come across your profile, they look at your bio like a few seconds and then they scan through your, your feet. Like if you can catch their attention in five seconds, then your bio is successful. And then you can utilize your highlights as well. They would find, okay, they read your bio. They Maybe they, they would be interested in your what you are doing. They would simply click the top three, the top three. So uh, especially when you choose your areas of passion, the three areas, you can showcase your, your um, highlights for the top five. So you can constantly update your highlights, okay? And then the next thing is your first 12 feet. People are looking for reasons why they have to follow you. So the first 12 feet is so important. When I ask you guys to turn 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 on your, your Instagram, right? When you pretend that you are a stranger, like you look at your first 12 feet. So for people who, who you know, start from scratch, it's okay. If you think that, oh my God, my Instagram account is not attractive. It's okay. Building from scratch is really easy. You just need one week to make it done. So I would suggest you to post two posts a day and then get your first 12 feet done. Like this is a must. And then you can go back to your regular routine, like your regular frequency. So if you post uh, once, I, I would suggest once every two days or once every three days, not like, or even less, or maybe just at least once a week. But if you build from scratch, you need to post more frequently. Cause when I started to build my Instagram, I post every day. I post every day. Okay, so next thing is your engagement. Um, maybe not, uh, not so many people talk about this, but I, I would have to tell you that your engagement is really important because I, I chose some of the top um, feeds that I, um, I had the most engagement like from last year. And you can tell like, um, if you want to check your engagement rate, I can just simply tell you a calculation. You can use the number of likes divided by your numbers of follower. If you are over 10% or even more, congratulations, you have really good engagement rate. But if you have less than that, then no. So um, you can tell that I have like the most engagement on my traveling photos. People really like my li lifestyle. And also like the nature, I'm a nature lover. So I take all those like trees they have really good, like many likes as well. I, I was really surprised that people love my photos. Um, so they are the photo that I, I took in Vancouver, Shanghai or elsewhere. Okay, so I will tell you what are engagement. Engagements are simply likes 
uh, likes would count as one engagement, comments has better, comments are more valuable than likes. And then saves. So on uh, Facebook, it would be share, the number of share. And then in your story, it would be number of views and also action. So you, you, you know how when you see a story, sometimes you will click the person's profile, right? And you can check all those statistics on your social media. Did you know that? You can see the number of action people um, do. Like for example, when I post my story there, for example, there are five. And then when they see something, some people would click backward. The number of backward telling you that your stories are very interesting. People want to go back and see it again. Okay, so you get it? Then um, you, you all have to check all this engagement. So if you are posting, you keep posting, you have 1,000 follower or maybe 2,000 follower, keep posting, but no one are watching or maybe no one are engaging with you, it's meaningless. So engagement, engagement is everything. So I just want to tell you, it's not about the number of followers, it's about your engagement rate. You can have, you just need 1,000 followers to, to start up. You can even sell, like you, you can reach to um, 10K volume, you know, for a beginner. If you have really good engagement. Low engagement also in, means like low exposure because you know the algorithm, like you guys notice like you, if you keep following the same people, you, you would see their story coming up out like all the time on your top three. And also their feeds would always show up in your feeds as well, right? So if you don't engage with that person, I mean, your, your post would not show up in other people's feed as well. I sometimes I would check my follower as well because I would notice, oh my God, I follow her. I've never seen her post because I did not engage with that person. Okay, so this is really important. And there's no enrollments or sales without trust. So what we need is to really connect with people and engage with them. Okay, so how about turning your stranger into followers, your friends, customers, and, and or partners, and even partners? I, I would say that over 99% of my organization, all my customer partners, they are all from social media, from strangers, or maybe from referral. I did not prospect any people that I, I know. Like, I mean, they count or maybe max, uh, I mean, maximum 1%, the rest of 99%, they are all coming from cold market. So this is all the people that I know from uh, social media, but, of course, there's so, still like so many people out there that I, I only do social selling or maybe I connect with them like on social media. I've never met them at all because I only need my follower for uh, in places that I go. So like in China, in Japan, uh, in Seoul, or even like in many other cities in China, they are all strangers. And But when we met, like we don't feel as like as if it were the first time to meet up. So we need, we know each other really well. They know me really well. And sometimes like they would even know, oh, I saw you like eating something yesterday. Like they see my post. I know that they are watching. So, I mean, like feel like so close. I mean, this is really amazing because I really love to connect with my people. They know me and I know them too. Okay, so these are all other people, not just for Asian. I mean, like when I started to use Instagram, like since um, the S September 2018, I started to build my Instagram since then. And I uh, started to prospect other like English speaking people. It was really, really effective. Cause they know what I'm doing and it's all about beauty and they see my uh, skin routine. Sometimes like they are interested in my uh, um, glowing skin, they would ask. But I have to tell you that all the people 
come to ask me questions, they are the people that I have conversation with. So if there's no trust, they will not like ask you, they will not engage with you. So I really like recommend you guys to talk with your people. Yeah, they all love power lips so much. Okay, so I finished sharing my screen. And the next thing that I want to do with you is a practice. So you can uh, get the piece, get your piece of paper out and pen. So first, I want everybody to do this practice with me to draw, to try your best to draw a perfect circle on your piece of paper. Perfect circle, okay? Can you see it? Okay, and then evenly divided the circle evenly into five pieces. Yeah, I try my best. Okay, so for, for the first area, for the first straight line, for example, like right here, I want you to write about comment. Content, sorry, content. Okay, so that straight line, I want you to rate yourself from zero to 10. What would you rate yourself in terms of content? How well your contents are? Rate yourself from zero to 10. So let's say I would rate my content a six. Like this, okay. And then the next line, I want you to write down comment. How many, how many comments that you are having and how often you comment on people. Rate yourself from zero to 10 again. Okay, let's say I give myself a four. And the next thing, Connect. How well can you connect with your follower? Not new skinner, not new skin distributor. I want you to uh, neglect all those distributors. I want you to interact with your follower only. So rate yourself again. Let's say I rate myself too. And the next thing, communicate. How well are you communicating with your follower? Do you know where they are living? Do you know what they are doing? Do you know what, are you either they are a student or uh, if they are doing a job and what job are they doing? And what is their dream? There, there are different levels of communication, right? Go deep and then find out what they are looking for. So, I will give myself a three. And then the last thing is closing. Closing by asking questions, you close, okay? So you will either sell a item to someone, the ability to close, or maybe to get someone enrolled into the business. So I will rate myself a one. Okay, now I want you to connect all your evaluation. For example, I show you my example like this. Okay. So in order to make social media successful for your business, this is your view your wheel as a vehicle. So you need to get it rolling, right? So see, 
this is my circle, my will. Like this is not even a will. It's not even a circle. How can you become successful on social media? Okay. So for all the contents you get people on and you need to keep them coming back, get them coming back. Like, I mean, this is how successful your content can be and comment on people. If people come to comment on my post, like meaningful comment, not ha ha heart, not smile, 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 not, oh, I love it. Oh, nice outfit, not this kind of comment. I want you to comment something meaningful, like genuine comment. When someone come to my post and leave a genuine comment, oh my God, I would be so thankful and so grateful. And I would definitely click that person's profile, go back and I will leave her a comment too. So what I want you to do is, for example, you can use the time when you sit on a toilet every day, comment on people. It's not that difficult. And most of us keep watching other news in Instagram, right? You spend the time watching people, then why don't you spend the time interacting with your people? Connect with them, leave comment and communicate. I mean, I would um, suggest you guys to DM, like you post something and for all the people that like you, right? They like you and then you send them a DM. Oh, thank you for liking my post. and you know, how's things and, you know, I hope you and your family are doing well at this, uh, during this crazy time. Uh, how are you? Things like that, just to create a conversation. Okay, this is the real key to make it successful to enroll somebody and find your tribe on social media. And this is all about today's workshop and I hope you guys enjoy it. So the rest of the time, if you have any questions, I would make it like a Q&A section. You can ask me any questions. 